I spent some time in my life in bed when I was six years old. I was quite ill and I learned, taught myself to draw and that I think to fill in my time while I was in bed. So I think that was, that's probably how it all started. The earliest I can remember was when I was about 10 years old. That's about 70 years ago. I don't know, I think it was just something that, something that I was built that way or made that way. I'm a member of a Sherbrooke Garden Society. And when I, when I retired from work, I started painting seriously. When, that's when I learned to paint watercolours. So uh, and then I was doing one a, one a week, probably the same way. But, yeah, I've got boxes of them. Three or four hundred paintings, and there's nothing. A picture I painted of Grandma while we were in Ireland. That's a favourite painting. I'm all Irish. Born in Australia, but my dad was Irish. Born in Ireland. You never run out of subjects. Yeah, that, that's what I really like most of all. My painting has had, had to change. I was painting watercolours, but when I've got Parkinson's, I, I have to take medicine about every four hours. I couldn't control. With watercolours, when you put a, a mark on a piece of paper with watercolours, you can't rub it out, you can't take it away, it's, it's there for good. So I went back to painting with oils because with oils I can paint over the top or I can scrape it off or change the whole thing around so I'll get my freedom back again. No, I think I'm probably painting a bit freer, you know, not as detailed. A trip to Thornton in October 2014. And we drove around all the like, back roads around Thornton and everything. And then, and then we found this picture of the hill going over the, the road, going over the back of the hill. And we decided we were going to make a quick paint him. The, the lady came along with two little kids on a bike. And they said, oh, you're doing a painting, eh? Right? Which is traditional. And uh, so we had a chat to them for a while. And uh, they went off down the road. And half an hour later, one of the good girls came back and said, Mum's just made a fresh batch of muffins. Would you like to come back and have a cup of coffee with us? And Jeff wanted to finish the painting. So he said, no, we haven't got time. Thanks all the same. 
So I missed out on the muffins. It's good to have like a soulmate or a soul friend that you can talk to and share things with.